Hey there. Today, I want to talk about a new feature that DigitalOcean has called Uptime. Here I am in my dashboard. I'm going to go down to monitoring on the left here. And there's a new tab called Uptime. So what an Uptime check does is it lets you check on any of your resources or a public website. Your web assets are mission critical for you. And you need to know in time if something goes wrong, if something goes down, so that you can help out your customers as quickly as possible to see if it ever goes down or has any latency issues. Here, I'll go ahead and click create a new uptime check. And it's as simple as this quick form. You can say, I want to send an HTTPS to let's say twitter.com. You can also put in the IP address of any of your droplets. You can check what regions to check for. And then we'll name this Twitter. And just like that, we have an uptime check. I'll go ahead and create that. And now we have the ability to check and get notifications if Twitter ever goes down. This also works for any of your resources. So you can get a 30 day global uptime. You can even see when your SSL cert expires. So you can go ahead and update that when it's necessary. You can see when the last outage was regional status, regional latency, and then you have your uptime check settings here. You can also create your alerts over here on the bottom right. So we have this uptime check created. Now let's go ahead and create an alert so that we can get alerted before our customers know that a problem has occurred. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead and create this alert. We can create alerts based on three different things. We can use a latency alert that is triggered whenever our site goes over a certain threshold. Let's say our site takes longer than one second for a two minute period. Let's say we wanted to do a downtime alert that is triggered after two minutes of unresponsiveness from our site. And you can increase that if you don't want any false positives or anything. And then we also have an SSL cert expired for if our SSL cert is expiring within 30 days so that we can make sure that it gets renewed correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a latency. And latency is important because we can tell if our site is starting to slow down before it even gets to the downtime. Usually we see sites start to slow down, start to get really sluggish before they break down. So let's go ahead and set this alert for the default one second for a two minute period. And I'm gonna set email alerts to myself here. I can even send it over to Slack. And then I'll choose a name for this alert, latency for Twitter. And I'll go ahead and create that. Now we'll get email and Slack notifications before our customers see all these issues because we'll get notifications immediately and we'll see them first. So next, I want to show you what an actual website that's been up and running, what an uptime check looks like. So here I have two uptime checks. Let's check out Octortal. So octortal.com is up currently 99.89% .89 uptime for the last 30 days. SSL start expires in 74 days. And what's really cool here is you can see the latency per region. And let's see, in the last hour, it looks like Southeast Asia has gone up quite a bit, but the other ones are doing really well. Let's go for the last 24 hours, last 30 days. And it looks like Southeast Asia, there's a couple pings that are a little high there. So maybe it's time to start doing a little bit of global availability. So uptime is a really cool feature, which I think goes hand in hand with all of the other DigitalOcean features and products so that you can always be sure that your projects and resources are up and running and that you can catch problems before your customers even see anything is wrong. All right, that's it for uptime checks. Hope you enjoyed this video and go ahead and go create some uptime checks.